Oh look, don't panic. My backdrop might be different, but this is real. It's not green screen. <laughs> new year, new me. Want to know? Say. I'm gonna see what I can do with this channel rather than just illustrating and animation. But new year, I still don't know how to do vlogs. <laughs> I'm so awkward when I start a recording. What are we going to do today? We're going to go Reddit. You didn't hear me wrong. We are going to Reddit. Because that's really the only place that I know with some memes. <laughs> and what memes are we going to look at? Well, animation memes. I just realized how misleading this would be. I'm looking for memes about animation, not animation memes. Those are like gone for me. Well, if I ever seen uh, people actually making it and I'm interested and I have some ideas on how to make it, well, my version or better, I don't know, then maybe I'll get to it. Like how I did it for Me Grinder and also Sega. You know, those two that somehow ended up getting really popular. <laughs> I'm sure my uh, <laughs> internet is faster than this. I have been stuck here for a few minutes now. <gasps> Let's see what happens if I just type in animation meme. I'm pretty sure this would be the most misleading thing because <laughs> I, I think Reddit would think that I would want to see those animation memes, but not the memes about animation. Yep, rate my animation. The community is dying, we need to restore it. What is this? I think there's a challenge for me to make sure I, I don't go into the rabbit hole of drama for animation memes, but I'm still very curious. I just realized that the animation meme community is almost gone completely. It's dying very fast, we gotta do something about it. One proof? A few very very few videos are being shown what you when you type animation memes in the search bar. When you type animation meme compilation, nothing shows up except for some playlists. People are becoming burnt out more and more. The original concept of animation memes have been forgotten. People try to make stuff too complex and don't have fun at all. Honestly, yeah. Actually, what, like, who started this whole thing about animation memes? Like, a lot of it, when I first started, when I joined in some the trend of animation memes, we all follow the principle of, like, following how the original does it, and then we change it a little bit, like the characters, the movements, uh, we change those, but the audio stays the same. Back then, there weren't really anything, they were just like uh, characters dancing, head bobbing. <laughs> I do that too. There weren't really anyone who tried to like use the audio and make the story out of it. It's more of just like trying to have fun. I think it could be because people are they're judging how bad some of the animation looks and now people are getting scared of trying of like having fun now they're just really giving them their self their standards like i have to animate like this guy i can't do like a simple image and make it head pop <laughs> i think you know who i'm referring to <laughs> fan memes are taking over people are depressed you know yeah <laughs> most of the songs that are being chosen are breakcore and trending tiktok songs uh, i'm glad that hong kong doesn't <laughs> let tiktok in i am not joking yep we are recording if this continue we're operating there you go. So I don't have a TikTok. Don't even try. Drama? Yep. I myself is just out of ideas on what animation to do because of school wars. There you go. Thank you for uh, <laughs> thank you for representing everyone. I feel the downfall happened when people started to copy each other's art style and make all these aesthetic animation memes that get really boring to watch. Simplicity is nice. A lot is just head popping or something nowadays. <laughs> yeah, there was a thing. There was a time where people are actually like copying, tracing the bigger artists who make simple animation memes and then they got caught and then got drama there was so much drama back then i'm not even going to get into like the dramas because either i forgot or uh i i just don't want to animation meme starter part there you go we got a meme head bopping is basically making your head go up and down yep loop uh-huh character must be an animal oh yes everything is furry an originality <laughs> True. You got you gotta put some edginess to it. I got all of it, but I don't think any of mine are not animals. And don't forget copyrighted songs. I still remember back then YouTube allows people to use thirty seconds of it, like the a few thirty seconds of copyrighted songs before they get claimed. But now I think they they don't even have that chance. Subject is either a furry or an anime character or both. Ooh, I hate it when like TikToks try to replicate the motions that they make like, yeah, okay, it's an animated character, it's a bit cringy, but I get it, but goddamn, an actual real person doing it is much worse. There are people actually doing the motion? 
like in real life they film themselves as an animation reference <laughs> oh someone <laughs> someone actually asked like what is an animation mean no audio oh i just realized <laughs> see this is it this is the type of art style that everyone follows i'm trying the hardest should i <laughs> should i say the original name or should i not <laughs> okay i'm gonna try and replicate it so there was an animator called Sleepy King before, but now they changed their name to Twisted Doctor, and then they are making games. So this certain type of art style, well, this has like a Sleepy King style before. It was like large ears, furry hands, big eyes, very slim neck. Maybe I'll call it Sleepy King style because that's what Sleepy King's original style looks like and everyone was following it but now then they changed their name to Twisted Doctor and now their style is so so much different they're still furry but they're more like grungy like Edge doesn't even describe that word of, a, of the art style it's like very grunge now Dan's turning into furry there it is Dan's with a tongue oh no usually flip a kid actually you know Flipper Clip, some of the animations of Flipper Clip is actually really, really good. Never before I've been so offended or personally attacked by something I completely agree with. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> I feel attacked, but then I also relate to it because before I also did the same things. Made with Kai Master! Yes! What other animation memes? Well, memes about animation. Though I must say, without animation memes, I wouldn't be here today. My skills for animation. Before we were having fun like making animation memes. We don't have to worry about like, oh, is this original character? Am I using copyrighted music? Am I uh, offending anyone? There's so much like warning signs in the start being like epilepsy, flashing lights, gore, all of these stuff, and no one gives a shit. But now I think. Uh, as time goes on, everyone starts being really sensitive about these topics and then uh, some drama came in being like you trace this artist, you copy that artist, this is unoriginal so you have to be original to make an animation meme everyone copied the same template of the original uh, the, the first person who started that trend, the animation meme part of the audio so we get to have like different ideas and also like a a few little bit of time to make that animation meme as our practice for how to do animations in general. Head bopping, there are some skills to it, you know? You have to use keyframes, you would know timing, you would know about the spacing between the keyframes to know that, oh, if it's spaced too much, the head would move very slowly and it won't look good. You know how head bopping you need to have like strong and up slowly it was like an ease in ease out and you have to figure out that ooh, putting two keyframes closer to each other has that effect no matter how like repetitive it is but it is how this is how practice actually is you do the same thing over and over and maybe slowly starting to add a little more skills I'm going to use my animation meme pork soda for example, the original one. No matter how much I don't want to look at it again, but still I have to because that was the time where I first used Sony Vegas. Crack version. The point is, is that I started using Sony Vegas. I learned about how the keyframes work. Bopping inside and like changing a little bit, that effect. I kind of have to figure it out myself. I experimented it for a long time to be able to get what I wanted, like the feeling of it. I really use a lot of my hands to talk whenever I speak. All right, the first animation mean I did was forget. Oh uh, no, oh, I don't really want to hear that again. That was the first time that I don't know how people do the whole head bopping with a slow in and slow out. You can tell that I'm just like cutting frames on doing that. And it was Park Soda, I'm not too far off. And then I tried doing Grown Up Tale. Karma was pretty easy. It was, I, I wouldn't say it's an animation meme other than the like the first start of it being like the I'm actually going down the rabbit hole of like uh, going to the animation memes but this is something that I wanted to talk about like a lot of times without actually hating it and causing drama to it like I get it I understand I understand that people when they first started without any any animation uh, experience they wouldn't know what to do push your meme was still the head bopping thing I think it was Nightmare Parade where I first started to see the plate 
was doing actual animation. That was the time where I actually used Adobe Flash. Well, I still remember I used Adobe Flash to do that. If you see like little flashes whenever, whenever they move, it's because I use green screen. I don't know how to export them into like transparent backgrounds. So I use green screen to chroma key them inside. Pretty smart if you ask me. And then it was losing my mind. Losing my mind was another of the um, animation that I first used Clip Studio Paint. I, I faintly remember I used Clip Studio Paint to do this. I do follow a lot of the original template on how they do. I think the only time that I started actually breaking it out and not following the original is changed the formality. I actually start to have ideas on how to do it with my very old person. <laughs> and that was also the time where I wanted to try like lip syncing, like drawing it myself. And I think I did pretty well. Slowly starting later on, I'm not actually like finding the original template interesting and then I want to do it. I actually find the audio interesting and I even have ideas after listening to that audio that made me want to do an animation meme. So a lot of it are just like you start somewhere and then you slowly slowly build up yourself to make to actually start making animations because if you didn't start up in like if I didn't start doing a uh, forget meme or oh, I did a lot of videos man <laughs> if I didn't start doing forget and park soda I wouldn't be here today making animations like in this like recursive tale maybe even getting to know myself that I'm actually like really good at making animations I'm interested in making animations and then I started like reaching for that goal I go for schools that teaches animations the first time they're not really good but now I'm here I'm actually learning something so I got like you know if you see this you would you will see that I have so many chances, so many opportunities to get to make animations. And now I have Sega, Meat Grinder, all of these because I listen to the audio and I have an idea. All right, enough of that. I'm going to look at memes. I'm sorry for bringing the mood down, but we're, we're going into it. This is not... <laughs> I mean, it's pretty funny. <laughs> this is a very general meme now. Oh, that's really cute. What do you think it was? The word pussy really like made made people uh, think about things wrongly. <laughs> All right, let's see if I type animation memes. Would it be different? Here it is again. Stop with these obnoxious and terrible animation memes. No, I want to find memes about animation. Oh, I've seen this one. Obviously, modern animation is not always so bad. This is just a pretext to make an animation version of this meme. Animated version. How does Jack feel about? Huh? Oh, Jack Stober? Oh, right. A furry animation meme song. Oh, is this fake type? Oh, Nightmare Parade, that, that's it. Oh. <laughs> People thought they were getting rickrolled. <laughs> duality. When someone has 3D animation skills, become a Pixar animator or Overwatch porn. <laughs> They're actually not that bad. Like, the smoothness and the physics and everything. What the fuck was this? <laughs> Swap. The most experienced CGI workers and animators, porn artists, know what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. Huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy god. What? These are all 3D, I know, but still. It's very impressive to, like, build all of these models out. Like that, what the hell? Is this an advertisement? advertisement or is it actually like someone just made it out of fun? My god, even ink blots. <laughs> okay, that was, I actually did not expect that. That was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm gonna watch till the end, or I was I, I wouldn't know like what is unexpected in there. Do you have any prior animating experience? I'm a Rue 34 artist. You're hired. <laughs> if you watch a Pixar movie and then you see jiggle physics whenever a woman moves or a man moves or their hair, the details of it, you know it's made by a porn artist. <laughs> 
Okay, I didn't watch P5, so I don't know. <laughs> Blue shadow adds all the difference. It's not just shadows. Do you see this? This is highlights because they got the budget for it, so of course they're gonna make it nice. These things take extra time. I know about this because I animate a recursive tail with shadows over there. I mean, even after effects, you can do it easily, but there's still some flaws in uh, after effects, which is seeing the border uh, of the highlights whenever you add it. To, to the character. After all these years, finally I have good video game adaptations. Hell yeah! I haven't watched Castlevania, but Arcane and Cyberpunk, mwah! They're really, really good studios, and I'm really, really excited for the next season of Arcane. They were ahead of the times over at Disney, the animator of 70s. I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet, but your kids are gonna love it. Huh? Oh. <laughs> This is really, really funny. <laughs> oh, teleporte. <laughs> it's true! Sometimes they do the boot physics like way too much. I'm gonna be honest at this point. If you animate more, you would know a lot of things. I hate to say this, but there's so much animation principles that can be put in into like any NSFW animations. Ah, uh, yes, it's just like me for real. It's really cool though. The fact that they have the time to animate the tweening of it. The how the way that they change into the object. <laughs> What's up with the panic attack in animation discourse on Twitter? No 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 no. The character design may be simple, but when those guys get sad, everyone gets sad. There's like like they they, they gave such a like an energy of it. Like they were always so neutral, you thought they didn't want to feel a thing. But then when they actually get sad, they droop down and it's just, oh no! Remake animation that is better than the original in Boruto, but you only have the same amount of time as the real animators. Because they are on the deadline. But for fan animators, you can do whenever you want it. Oops. Musicians looking at their TV to see if the instrument is shown for 3 seconds and made correctly. Not just musicians, like me, I do that too. Just like Soul for Pixar, they have a lot of shots of, of the char main character playing the piano. And then <laughs> I would look at it, I would look at it like, wow, this is actually like accurate. Oh, uh, I don't know who this is and I'm not even going to go through the drama. Hotel Transylvania is like one of the best because it was like the first CGI animation that I've seen that uses a lot of stretching moments and that's when I start to fall in love with really using the squash and stretch technique. No matter 2D or 3D, uh, I still didn't really have a chance to uh, use 3D as animation other than like really simple walk cycles but i really really want to like implement a lot of uh hotel transylvania style of squash and stretch in cgi so <laughs> because i really like them they're done really well they're really funny spider verse of course Mwah. ah yes really animation what my friends think i do what my mom thinks i do what i think i do what society thinks i do what i really do Oh, those are probably like the spline, the keyframes of the 3D animation in Maya. Rendering, 5,000 years remaining. Oh no. Friends flat shaded. Mom, wireframe with all the rigging turned on. Society, final render, actual making stupid faces with the dragon. Yes, I would actually do that. When I get a rigging of like Boney or any other character rig that was pre-rigged for us for as like a practice, I would fuck around the rigging animation to make them like wall bend really down and then their toes still stay up there. I would make their <laughs> their waist turn around. It was like doing some ooh kinky shit. I don't even know what the f <laughs> What? Okay. Alright. Uh Dr. Life Seawalk. Star Trek style. <laughs> this is actually really like such a good way to practice animation too. It's your animator when they make cars far. <laughs> really though, some of those cars. Hmm. Four gods of Simbi. <laughs> we used when the nine-year-old thinks animation is a cartoon. <laughs> I got cancelled by a couple of waves after I said that last airbender is an anime. Anime is animation but just in the form of saying it in Japanese. There it is. <laughs> Avatar is an anime. No, Avatar was made in America, it's not an anime. 
enemy isn't defined by his country or religion, but rather the hostile. Therefore, Avatar is an enemy. I'm not even gonna get to it. <laughs> there are no good American enemy. Castlevania, Teen Titans, Samurai Jack, Ruby. Oh yeah, Ruby. Boondocks, Avatar. But what about Kipo? What about Blue Eyes Samurai? Is it also the same place? I actually don't know. Oh wait, Owl House. How did I forget about that? I think we're we're done with a lot of this because I see that we're starting to have uh, <laughs> like the same memes coming up again that I've seen. There's not a lot of animation memes out here. Animation memes, I mean memes that are about animations or animators in general. We need to bring this more up. Like if animation meme, like part of making animation meme is dying, then why not make memes that are about animation? I love the feel of it. I think it's pretty funny. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know what to do, so near year I'm just looking for memes about animation. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.